how to install insulation from above the floor joists in a suspended timber floor. The installation of insulation from above a suspended floor should be carried out before commencement of floor boarding. The insulation boards should be cut to fit snugly between the floor joists. It's advised that you measure the distance between joists prior to cutting the board as spacings can vary. In order to ensure insulation boards are flush with the top surface of the joists, they should be supported by treated softwood timber battens, proprietary galvanised steel saddle clips or galvanised nails. These should be placed at an appropriate height to suit the thickness of board being fitted. If using nails, these should remain 40mm proud of the joist. The insulation boards can now be fitted between the joists so that they are supported by the battens, saddle clips or nails. If two layers of insulation are required, they should be horizontally offset so that the board joints on adjacent layers do not coincide with each other. All board joints should be tightly butted. Ensure that insulation boards are fitted tightly between joists and any gaps are filled with expanding urethane sealant. Any narrow gaps between a joist and the perimeter wall should be insulated by specially cut pieces of board. These should be supported on blocks nailed to the underside of the joists. Gaps less than 25mm wide should be filled with expanding urethane sealant.